Altitudes has been shifting energies and selling albums for 20 years. It was founded by Dan Gibson, a pioneer in Nature Sounds recording. His son Gordon suggested adding music. Eight Juno nominations and millions of sales later, Solitudes is a huge Canadian success story. Well, you know, we've had uh, you know response from the audience for a long time that told us that our music was and our nature sounds were conducive to relaxation, to helping them fall asleep, to you know creating an ambience that was subdued and and a nice change from the the hectic pace of the world. And I think that uh, because it was synonymous with the relaxation, we looked to take it a step further and uh, look at the scientific side. So, Gibson hired University of Toronto music professor Lee Bartell. I was doing psychometric research on people's response and, and doing the typical things that a scientist does without really thinking about the practical commercial applications. For example, in the research study which I was a team member on at Bloorview Macmillan in Toronto, uh, we were working with the rehabilitation of head injured adolescents and specifically on the attention ability of those those adolescents and we found that employing music to rehabilitate their attention made the recovery faster um, and so you take some of that kind of which is more pure research and apply it in the direct way and and, and yes it, it worked the result is a series of albums called music for your health Titles include Natural Sleep Inducement, Stress Relief, Massage Therapy, and Meditation. These albums use sonic techniques designed to slow down body rhythms and brain waves to a state of relaxation. Is this just the legal version of smoking a joint before you go to bed at night? <laughs> <laughs> well, it certainly is legal and it certainly is effective. To find out if there was any truth to their claims, I put my skepticism on pause and spent 20 minutes listening to a CD called Natural Massage Therapy. I hit the third number, it was pretty good. There's this really low sort of didgeridoo thing coming in, like the bottom blaster. And it, it that was pretty good. <sighs> oh yeah. It's almost like you're like you're asleep but awake at the same time. And it's that point where many people have real creative insight. The creative breakthrough comes mm -hmm. in that kind of a theta state. But it's almost like we transcend the body because we almost lose track of being with the body because the body is so relaxed that it just leaves the mind there. This music may not be Beethoven, but it does serve a purpose, even if you may never get to hear the end of the CD. Don't listen and drive on that one.